It's Texas, it's December, it's cold. It's been cold. Uh, the water is in the 50s and that's really cold in Texas. Uh, but we got this warming trend right now. The sun's out, we got a lot of wind. Uh, we got a little window here when uh, it might be a really special day. And uh, we're gonna see what we can make happen. We're gonna throw big jerk baits and we're gonna throw some lipless crank baits. Try to figure them out today, see what's happening, and hopefully we'll catch some really good fish. That's a, a nice fish. Beautiful. Okay, here we are on a uh, one of my favorite East Texas lakes. This lake has a lot of grass on it. You can see the dark over there. That's the hydrilla that comes out to about four to eight feet of water. Uh, we got a Water's cold, it's in the 50s, uh, but we got a lot of sun and we got a lot of wind today, so that uh, ought to get them going. And uh, man, they ought to be eating a lipless crankbait and a jerkbait. So I'm trying to choose right now. I got my metallic shiny colors and I got my solids, my shad colors that are more of a solid color. We got a lot of wind, so the, the flash, you know, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna go with the old standard Pointer 100 in Aurora Black, which is kind of a chrome blue back. That's kind of the basic color. Got a lot of wind, ought to be really good. So between this and a lipless crankbait, we ought to be able to connect with some good fish. So I'm gonna just bounce around to kind of figure out what's going on. But one thing I will be doing is fishing wherever this wind is blowing in for number, that's the first thing. Wind is your friend. Especially if you're throwing a jerk bait or a lipless crankbait. Come here, baby. Yeah, that's a nice one. Boys, one-two combo of a jerk bait and a lipless crankbait when the water's cold. Hard to beat. Yeah, this is a good one. Come here, baby. Big fat one. Got that bait all the way in his mouth. Yeah, all right. Nice little chunk. Both sets of treble hooks in him. Gotta love it. Now, I'm throwing the jerk bait and the lipless crankbait right around the edge of this grass. The outside edge of the grass is, you know, five to seven feet or so, and it kind of tapers on out, but I've been hitting the grass with the jerk bait. I can feel it, and, and actually it's coming over the top of it pretty good and ripping free, and then I'm, of course, ripping the lipless crankbait out of the grass. This is a LV-150. Dynamite Lucky Craft lipless crankbait, but. That one liked it. Thank you, buddy. I caught that fish on this lipless crankbait. It's LV-150. And uh, it's just, you know, I'm just covering water, trying to see if I can get a few more bites, just kind of figure out where the fish are holding. More than just one here or there, hopefully I can figure out a pattern to them. So then I can go to work on them and do the one-two with the suspending jerk bait. That after you find a few fish with this lipless, you can go back and do the cleanup with a suspending jerk bait and a lot of times catch some of the real big ones. So this is kind of a back of the pocket here. So that's why I'm looking to see if there's any fish blown back here. So the sun's been out. So I'm thinking some of them might be getting into this shallower water just to try to sun, get up here where it's maybe the water's warmed up just a little bit because it's been cold. Water's in the fifties and that's, that may not be that cold where you are from, but where I'm from in Texas, that's pretty cold if it's below 60. And these are mostly, you know, have a high percentage of Florida bass in them, so they don't like the cold either. Just makes them slower to catch, but that's why we're throwing these, you know, reaction bite with the lipless crankbait and then a suspending jerk bait. It stays right in their face a little longer, so that's the two different ways those baits, that's how they're different. Great one-two punch for the cooler months. From you know late fall all the way through in pre-spawn and, and until they start spawning, and then this you know kind of goes away and you start in the spawn 
typically fish, you know, slower, soft plastics, what have you. The fish are up kind of small. This bite doesn't totally go away, but it, it becomes a, there's a fish. Oh yeah. One in the back of the pocket, like I was saying. One of them back there. Yeah, nice little chunk. Well, look how fat. Look at how fat. Little chunky guy. Thank you, buddy. Well, that's fun. So I can see the clumpy grass. He was just, I mean, shallow. And that's one thing about a lipless crankbait, when you get in a situation when the grass is really tall, you can speed it up and come over the top of it pretty good. You can control the depth by the rate of your retrieve a lot. So, very versatile. I lost one of my baits, so I went back to this chartreuse shad LV150. It's, uh, I mean, it's great. It's coming over this grass really well. It's kind of a, I guess you could say a mid-sized lipless. It's not quite a half ounce, but it's close. And then I put on an LV500. This is an LV500. It's about a, about the size of most uh, half ounce lipless crankbaits, maybe a little bit bigger, but it weighs about three quarters of an ounce. So it's easier to cast farther and fish deeper than most lipless crankbaits. And it's an excellent, ripping uh, lipless crankbait that means ripping it out of grass or ripping it and hopping it off the bottom this is an lv150 which is a little smaller it also weighs considerably less probably right around half an ounce maybe even three-eighths of an ounce it's it's kind of a mid-size lipless crankbait it's because of the weight and the size it's 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 weighs less and it's a, a smaller size but it still kind of has a thick profile up front, it's kind of got a wedge that helps it kind of, it's almost like a bill built in. It, it rides up a little better. It, uh, the LV500 is like a depth charged lipless crankbait. This is more of a, you know, stays up higher, which is great when the grass, the top of this grass is four to six feet down. It'll come over the top of the grass really well and it crawls through the grass great. It doesn't hardly ever get hung up at all. It's easy just to kind of feel it pull through. Yeah, it'll get hooked a little bit and you have to, you know, rip it free but it comes through the grass perfect and, and the way this grass is set up, uh, this bait's coming through it perfect. So have that tied on as well. Just giving them more looks and uh, just covering water. Throwing a jerk bait in the mix too and uh, I've caught one on it and missed a couple. It's weird, they just swipe at it. But still rocking it. Lipless crankbaits are just great all around search baits pretty much year round, but they really do shine when the water is cool to even, you know, really cold. Like I've said several times, it's a flat sided bait. It gets a lot of strikes. It's great for a reaction strike when fish aren't, don't really want to feed. It just, you know, goes by and it's loud and it's erratic and you can let it hit, uh, you know, hop it off the bottom or in this situation we're fishing around grass. so. You can tear it out of grass and you can get bites that you normally may not get. So it's a great search bait to find where the fish are. And uh, especially in the colder months of the year. All right, the pressure's on. We uh, gave myself about three hours. That's we got out here late this afternoon and we're gonna fish to almost dark. Uh, I think we fished about an uh, hour and a half of it so far. I've caught a few fish. Just kind of here and there, you know, typical fishing. I really haven't got them dialed in yet, but uh, we're looking for that magic deal where uh, if it happens, it could be uh, fireworks. So, still looking. Covering water, mixing it up. Yeah, they're not biting real good right now, but I'm, I'm ripping this uh, lipless crankbait over this grass. Right now I'm using a black ice. It's a, this is a cranking rod. It's actually an eight foot cranking rod. It's medium heavy action. 
which means it's, it's still got really soft, but it's long, so I can cast this lipless crankbait a long way, and I can rip it pretty good. A lot of times, I, you know, sometimes I like to use braided line to help rip it out of the grass, but this uh, LV-150 comes right over it really well. So I think you get a more bites if you can use fluorocarbon. But I'm holding my rod tip up real high, and I'm just trying to tick it right over the top of that grass. When it hits a clump, I kind of try to rip it out and kind of keep it coming. Maybe stop it every now and then, but anyway, this is a uh, fifth. There's one. Stopped it like that. That one came up and hit it. <laughs> yeah, see? Right over the top of this grass. It's getting late. They should be biting. They're just, and they're just being tough. And he didn't really eat it very well. He's hooked in the side of the head, so he just was slashing at it. But these good hooks got him. Chunky little guy. And I love it when they're fat like that. But they just, you know, they, you just keep it, keep it going, cover water. Comes right over the top of the grass pretty good. And, you know, and it's one of the most, you know, you see the grass all over it, but they like it. Gets a reaction strike when they're being tough, and if you can find where they are, I'm still hoping we find them. It could be lights out. Doesn't take long. Does not take long. There's another one. Ooh, man. <laughs> God, how strong. Not even that big and pulling the... Man. You can see all that grass just ripping through all the... Look how strong that fish is. Come on, baby. Oh yeah, chunky one. Look at this. It's a baby monster right here. It's got the shape, but just not doesn't have the length. But it has got the got the physique of a big fish. Look at that. Look at how chunky. Beautiful. Beautiful fish. I love it when they look like that. Round all the way around, just gorgeous. Florida bass. Now you catch one about this long, <laughs> it's gonna be a monster, but this is future monster. It's got the shape, so hey. Just gotta throw that lipless crankbait and I don't know if you can see the grass here, but it isn't but a foot or two down and kind of clumpy. And I'm just reeling as fast as I can, keeping my rod up, trying to burn it over the top of the grass. And so I've caught those last couple real quick, so maybe we can catch a couple more. This is awesome. They pull hard. That, that fish pulled like it was a, thought it was a five pounder. So we fished miles and miles of grass just trying to find them. And of course, you know, you try the point, you try the main lake, you try the backs of pockets. This is the back of a pocket. And we finally ran into a little wad of them. So it's, it's good. I just wish it was a little bit easier to fish in here. <laughs> this grass is so tall, but I guess that's why they're here. I'm just keeping this eight foot rod up real high and reeling really fast and just kind of popping it and starting and stopping it and it's triggered a few of them. Come on. Ready for a great big one. I know you're in here, just bite. Come on. There's another one. Okay. Oh, he ate it good. Look at that. Man. Not big, but fat. Look at this chunky fish. Little football. Okay. So this is that, and this always happens, last hour or so of light, they get to biting. So you just hope you're where the big ones are and you found them where there are some fish. So there's some here. I need to catch Big Mama. I'm ready. This LV 150 has been doing the damage today. It's just a great bait. I have a lot of confidence in it. Like I said, it's about a mid-size. It's a half ounce or so size, but it's, I think it's about a 3 8 ounce, which it stays up pretty good, which is what I really need right here because this grass is so tall. Well, it's crunch time now. It's the last 30 minutes of the day. Got on a couple fish, got a, I know they're biting, and I'm gonna hit some spots that were similar 
try to get on a couple spots where just some of these big fish could pull up and uh, just got to hit one where the fish are up and going like I did over there, the last little area. That's what I got to try to do to close it out strong. You can act so quick, you just got to be in the right place. And like I said, they're biting right now just if they're up. So, going to hit a couple more last ditch little high percentage deals and hope we land on them. There's one. Yeah, this LV 150 really shines. Covering water, and there we go. We hit one. <laughs> Cover water and fish hard to man. They eat it when they bite it. Man, this is a nice one. Come on, baby. Heck yeah. All right. Love it when a plan comes together. Yeah, that's a, that's a nice fish. Come here, baby. Man, look how fat he is. Come on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, chunk. Love them when they look like that. All right. Right on the money. Let's get him unhooked and get back in there. If we can't, catch another one. Boy, he's hooked everywhere he ate. Did he eat that thing or what? There we go. Nice little chunk. Beautiful. All right. When they bite it, they smoke it. So I'd love to get a couple more in the magic 30 minutes of the day right now. And, and these LVs, these especially 150 and the LV 500 Lucky Craft baits are some of the most best power fishing lipless crankbaits that I know of. I mean, you just get them and let them rip. Here's one. Mm, yeah. Ooh, this feels like a good one. Come on, baby, stay on there. Yeah, stay on there. Hope you're as big as you feel. You feel like a good one. Well, that's just a good one. <laughs> I love it. Come on. Oh yeah, it about swallowed that LV. I mean, ate it all the way. Look at it, all the way down its mouth. Look at that, gone. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, this is a good one. Come here, baby. Get the hooks are everywhere. There we go. I can't even want to get my hand around his head. <laughs> That's the biggest one of the day so far. Did it eat that LV 150 or what? Boy, that's a chunk, isn't it? Love them like that. Mm. Beautiful. LV500 LV and LV150. My faves. So lipless crankbaits and LV150 in, you know, in particular, it's a really great size. Uh, it's not too big, not too small. It means you can cast it a long way. It's easy to fish and it catches fish. You can just throw it out there and reel it in and not do anything special and catch fish on it. Yeah, you can dial in the retrieve a little bit, you know, from, you know, stop and go to hopping it, to burn it real fast, to slow rolling, which is just nice and steady. There's another one. Oh, or, whoa. <laughs> I just stopped it, was talking about it, and this one bit it when I stopped and I pulled back, and this LV-150 is all the way down this fish's throat. There's nothing but line coming out of his mouth. Look at that. Did that's that guy eat it or what? Look at that. <laughs> it's gone. Think he wanted it? It's gone. Hard to lip them when they eat your bait like that. Come here. Oh man. Look at that. Gone down the hatch. I'd say you wanted that, didn't you? You said, I found me something that looks good to eat. Another really nice chunk. Look at that fish. Heck yeah, beauty. All right. There's one. Oh, got him. 
got him. Oh, he come on. Man, it's just getting low light. I can't see, they can't see either. I've lost the last three. So it's really been an exciting day. Got out here for three hours, had to figure them out. And I, and I was, you know, hopping around, finally kind of got in the groove with them and was able to come through right here in the last 30 minutes. Sure was fun. Caught some really nice fish in the last 15 or 20 minutes. Lost a few too, but uh, sure is fun when a plan comes together. It makes a great day on the water. We had a lot of fun filming this episode. If you have any questions or comments, please let us know and any suggestion for some future episodes, we'd love to hear them. Please leave a comment and thanks for watching. Encore bass. Come on, baby, stay on. Oh, yeah. Well, we turned the cameras off and they're still biting, so we'll see if we can get this on footage. But this is another nice chunk. Oh, yeah. Come here, baby. That bait is all the way gone. There's nothing but line. <laughs> Look at that. Want that LV 150 or what? Gone down the hatch. Look at that. Man, that is a good fish too. Solid fish. Well, got a bunny pair of pliers. I just chunked my pliers over the side of the boat. Love it. I think that's a wrap. Let's go to the house. Awesome day on the Lucky Craft LV 150.